Hey guys, welcome back to another Planet Zoo. Uh, just, I guess, a recap from what we did in the last few videos. We got some ostriches, some warthogs, and we also got some antelope. So we're going to try to see if we can build on that. And we also have some gift things that we should uh, probably look at. A couple things to note before I start. First, my brother is live streaming next door and I'm trying not to disturb him because uh, live streaming and, and YouTube is kind of his job, so I don't want to get in the way of that. Second, my laptop fan has is freaking out because it was um, rendering some videos earlier, so that plus this game, which I don't think... It's kind of powerful for the laptop. You're going to hear it in the background. But I'm going to do the absolute best I can to make sure you guys can hear me. And if you can't hear me, then I'm sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you can. So I'm just going to press play. And I'm going to get started and just see how we're doing in relation to money. So my finances are going up and down, up and down, up and down. So I've got to... We're going to fast forward and just kind of see how that's doing. Let's take a look at the challenges. Um, so, adopt habitat species. Adopt and place two different habitat, habitat species. So we did that. Um, earn a yearly profit of 2,000. We did that. So, guest numbers. So the next one is have at least 300 guests in the zoo. And I'm at 188 as of now. So we would get a thousand for that. Community challenges. Let's see if we have any. Um release one. No, ten thousand. Uh three star common ostriches to the wild. Do you have your head in the sand or are you up for sticking your neck out and helping some ostriches? If you can catch them, release three star common ostriches to the wild. So we'll see if we can do that. I'm not sure if we can because I don't I generally record, you know, not all at once, so like, I'll do a couple of videos now and then I'll do a couple of videos later, but who knows when later will be. Another thing I noted was I was dumb and made my pass too small, so at some point we're going to have some crowding issues in this general area. So I'm thinking that we're going to, maybe here we're going to make, actually maybe over here we'll start making the uh, pass a bit bigger. And we can start expanding and adding some more animals. Because it looks like we're making a pretty good profit right now. Let's start with Rustic Path. Go up this way. I'm going to just have this on normal. And then we're going to maybe the width to about 7. And then we'll have it go up to about 9. And then we'll make the paths pretty big. So that we have no crowding issues, especially if we decide we want to put some animals on either side. Okay. So, we're just gonna figure out where, um, so we're probably gonna have to have a new electricity area if we decide we're gonna go that path. I'm going to do the same path like thing here like I did for before so we'll have it go up to maybe about um, seven and then I'll have it go up to nine in the next part so there we go I feel like I should have done and then we'll just round it over here just yes. okay all right so we could probably add another animal here Alright, so let's do our Zoopedia. We're going to see if we can find any animals that eat hay. I wish I could just um, sort them based on what they ate. What do these guys eat? Hay! I'm not sure if we can afford elephants yet, though, because I think elephants are quite expensive. So why don't we just look to see how much elephants are going to be? Okay, I can't actually remember the exact name of the elephant, so let me just check. African elephant, so we need to get to the A's. Alright. So, African elephant filter. It's going to show me the conservation point. 
let's turn off conservation and just do cash listings. Oh, crap. Did I not take this sable? Okay, so they're not going to go for... Okay, so we're just going to leave that then, because I'm not, I'm not spending any more conservation points unless I absolutely have to. Alright. Um, let's try... Let's see if I can find it. R. I need the R's. Uh, leaves and branches. Let's see how much the reticulated whatever giraffe is. Apparently there's no animals of label. Okay. Let's see what we can do for conservation points. I'm not spending that many on a giraffe. See, even that's a lot for just a flub and giraffe, so we're not doing that either. Um can we do See, this is a pain because I don't know what to go for. What about saltwater crocodile? What do they eat? Process meat. We can't do that right now. Um, springbok. Springbok eat hay. Timberwolves eat meat. I'm pretty sure that's in um. What do you call it? One of those ant. What do you call it? Um. Oh, rhinos eat hay, but I think they'd probably be too expensive. Again, I forgot the name of the rhino. <laughs> I'm doing such a good job. Oh, Indian rhinoceros. Okay. So let's check. Oops, wrong button. Let's check the Indian rhinoceros. Another consideration would be grizzly bears, but I'm pretty sure they eat meat. Oh, my sable antelopes are about to meet. Okay, I just want to get rid of this. Come on. Come on. Alright, so let's find the eyes. Yay, my antelope specking offspring. Okay, let's find the eyes. Here we go. Indian. Nope. Indian elephant. Indian rhinoceros. Expensive. Uh, okay, let's try cash listings and see how that goes. There really aren't very many rhinoceroses on. Okay, so another idea is a peafowl. Let's try peafowls. We have a couple takers. Oh, okay. I'll take this one. Wait, how long do peafowls live for? It's important. Twenty-three years. So let's see. So how long? How old is this peafowl? Where is the age? Where is the age? Oh, crap. Oh, six years. Oh, I guess that's good. So we'll adopt that one. And then I will consider a male if I can find one for a price that doesn't suck. Filter. Alright, four years. Three points. Trying to find one that looks cool. Oh my gosh, is that a- yeah it is. Okay, we're getting this one. I know I just said I wasn't going to spend conservation points, but I really didn't have much of a choice. Oh, sadly. Alright, so sorry about that. I had to step away from the computer for a moment and it couldn't have been uh, avoided. Alright. 
So I think what we just did was bought some pea fowls, and we're gonna I'm gonna look at the Zoopedia. Um. So I'm gonna need more pea fowls because it's four to twenty. So four males and sixteen females. So that means I can get another male and another female, and that would make the total four. So let's check. To see if we can find any more males and females. I'm just going to be lazy and buy them off of here. Um, this one's only 3.2 years. So we'll do this one. And then we need one more male. The fertility gene is 50. I don't like that. Okay, this one's better. Why do they see the exact same? Almost the same. I'll get this one. Alright. Alright, so let's look at the PFAL information on Zoopedia. Grains and sand. I don't know, actually play. And we'll have all the peafowls moved to the if this will go any faster to quarantine. And I call and I'll what's this say? Oh, please for eat it. Alright, I'm gonna have them start on Sable Antelope. Okay. So let's move the animals. Uh move. Have them all moved to the quarantine so we can make sure that none of them are sick. Y'all are seeing this, right? I'm actually hitting it and it's not doing anything. Alright, so now we have this one. And then we have one more that needs to move, this one. Oh, the fertility gene sucks. Oh well. Whatever. Come on. Come on! Dude! Hurry up! Ugh. Friggin' heck. You click the move button and it doesn't even want to move. Okay. So now... Beef fowls. What do y'all need? Um... 4.125 feet, grade 1. Okay. Um, let me check. I think, I wasn't sure. Can guests, guests can enter the habitat. So we'll make this a guest enter habitat section. So I want to do, do it over here. So we can avoid the, uh... Alright, so this is 1, 2... Two, three, five, two. Okay, so we'll do it in this hedge. But at the same time, I don't want to do it in the hedge because people want to see in it. So we'll do it in glass again. And we'll start it maybe about here and see if we can get some um, pathing in between. In between uh, the two cages. As you guys, as I said before, I make my cages too big sometimes, so y'all are gonna have to deal with that. I think this is probably too small though. That's fine. Okay, so train guest gate. So I want the guests to be able to go. Obstructed. 
Okay, um, what if we put it here? Okay, that's cool. And then we need to add... Oops, I forgot habitat. Then we need to add a habitat gate for the person who's going to be working on this. Cool. So let's add a path. And we'll leave it there because I'm not entirely sure how big this is going to be. Oh gosh, am I not able to connect these? Oh fucking heck no. HECK NO! Okay, that's not gonna work, so we're gonna have to move... Okay, I feel like we should, um... Pause this, and then we'll delete maybe this path, and then we'll see if we can add the habitat gate there. And then... Oh, there we go. And then, here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So inside, I don't want the path to be as big, so we'll make it smaller, obviously. Oh, that's still too small. Five? I think five is probably good. Okay, so we'll have it go around here. And then we'll add another guest gate. Cool. Alright. Have it rounded up here, and then we'll have it get bigger. There we go. Okay, that works fine. Alright. So we've got our guest gate, and we have our, um, gate for the zookeepers, so we'll have the animals moved. Right, I think I have to go to the quarantine menu for this. So all four have passed, so we'll select all, and we'll have them moved here, and then we can figure out what they need. And then, we also need to assign a zookeeper, and as I told you guys before, I am terrible like this. I I overwork my zookeepers to save money. Oops. <laughs> Alright, so. There we go. Let's press play, and we can see what the animals are going to need. Oh, we should also, while we're waiting, add the facilities. I think... Uh... Oh, crap. Okay, that's not gonna work. So I need to add... Sadly, I need to add another um, electricity section. I can't really control that, so what we'll do is we'll add a path, and if they don't like that it's there, they can suck it up. Okay. Alright, um, I need facilities. Then we need the electricity thing. Yes. How do I make it? Okay. So I'm gonna have to delete the path and then just rework it then. I know it's not going to matter because either way, if they, at least in the area, they're going to freak out, but this makes me feel better about it at least.
Alright, so let's go back to facilities and we're gonna add uh this. So this whole area. Well not the whole area, but this general area has I feel like I should move it over significantly because I want to cover as much space as possible. So if you guys give me a moment, I'm going to do that next. We're going to move it over. Let's see. I want to add these donation boxes next. I'm adding more over here for these guys. And then I add a lot of donation boxes. <laughs> okay, so next we're going to move this over. So I want to cover as much space as humanly possible. Meaning I need to also move this. Alright, so let's move that over here. Perfect. And then we'll probably try to select the whole thing oh and it did that automatically cool sweet so now we have this for our guests too all right cool all right so let's press play and our pea fowls will get introduced Oh crap, you know what I did forget to do that I don't want to wait on is I did forget to delete this. And we need to get rid of a path as well, so let's get rid of that. Moving the wrong way. <laughs> Oops. Oops! <laughs> My bad! <laughs> Oh, that would not, oops, that would not go over well. <laughs> there we go, okay. Let's add new path for here. Of course, we're also going to have to also add normal path. Okay. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So let's do barriers. There we go. Matters to me even if, if the game is like, oh, they're still mad at you, and I'm like, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so we're just waiting for the pea fowls to get delivered. So let's look and check this. Oh, increase common ostrich education rating to 15%. Claim reward. Okay, we're just waiting for the pea fowls. Sorry, it's starting to lag again. Ugh. I can also find out if this is too much space or too little space. Oh my gosh, it's the white one. The white one's first. Oh, you know what I just realized? I have to make this taller. Um, at a barrier. Because I think they can jump over. We'll just make it, like, taller than necessary. <laughs> Alright. Alright, cool. So, we're going to see what they need. Oh, all they really need is enrichment. Apparently everything else is good. Okay, food enrichment, toy enrichment. Oh, they need hard shelter, which we can give them. 
So. Let's find the pea fowls. Can't remember what they're called again. Is it like the African pea fowls? It's Indian pea fowls. Okay. Literally don't have anything for them. What the flippin' heck? Pfft. Okay. Alright. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Um. Plants. Wonder if I could add some, like, natural. So we can add, like, maybe a mountain in the middle or a cave or something. And that should give them. Oh, this is gonna cost me a lot of money, but I think if I can get them some, like. Okay. If I can get them, like, a little bit of hard shelter this way, I think this is probably a good way to do it. If you're in this situation and you can't, like. Just don't want it to be too close. So then we're going to go off, where's the level? Flatten the foundation, make it smaller, and then see if we can add any shelter here. Alright, let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's tall enough. Okay, yeah, this will be spacious, hopefully, enough for them. Can't afford, can't find shelter, just make it. <laughs> Alright, so I hope this is enough. Alright, so we're gonna see if that's enough. Oh, I need more short grass, too, so we'll do that, too. While we're at it, we'll just... Oh, we also have to add food and water. Probably is a good idea to do that. Is there anything else that's... Nope. Just trying to get... Have some rocks somewhere, maybe over here. And over here. Alright, let's see if they think of a hard shelter. Oh, yep, it's good. Okay, cool. So we just need to add food and water. Water pipe. And then we need a large picture, I think. My ostrich is about to meet again. Wonder should can I add this here? I don't know what they're gonna think about this. <laughs> Hold on. Alright, so next we need to add we need to work on this. Ooh, my ostrich had off screen. We're gonna go look at them in a moment, okay, people? Someone matured. Who matured? Alright, so. You've matured. So. We're gonna release you to the wild. Get some conservation points, even if it's not gonna be too much. Okay. Um, let's see if anyone else has matured. This looks dirty. I'm gonna call the zookeeper. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. I, oh, look at that giant crowd. It's so very laggy over here, probably because of that. Oh, $789. Alright, cool people, so...